Hi, I'm Michael Jurowitz, Vice President of Journey Home Recovery Living. Safe, sober housing saves lives. I know this because uh, I am a product of sober living environment. Um, in 2003, I was uh, arrested and I like to say that I was saved by uh, the police department. Um, you know, I, I then went through a, a program and then I went into uh, recovery living and I know how important it is to have that time span of structured, sober living environment to help me in my in my journey in, in, in my, my new life. We started this back in 2015, and since then we've supported over 500 individuals in recovery. Did you know back in 2020, over 81,000 people died of a drug overdose? You know, it's really important when people transition into recovery from say a treatment program or detox hospitalization, that they have a safe, sober sanctuary where they can develop the recovery skills they need to sustain long-term recovery. And that's the role that Sober Houses play. It's an essential role. Please join us on June 6th, where we celebrate the role that first responders play in bridging us from the worst moment in our lives in addiction to the best part of our lives in recovery. We're looking forward to riding shoulder to shoulder, all of us in recovery alongside all of those first responders that played a role in saving lives. It's critical work that you all do every single day and we want to appreciate you. Now I'll pass it on to some of our corporate partners. Hi, my name is Courtney McNeil. I am a licensed social worker in the state of Connecticut, as well as the clinical outreach manager for Aware Recovery Care. Aware is a 52-week in-home addiction treatment program. I started doing direct care, so I've had the honor and the privilege to work hand-in-hand -hand with Journey Home, both with personal clients as well as in a more community slash educational role. Um, and I can honestly say that the collaboration between our two programs has been just incredible, both for first responders and just in general for individuals suffering with substance use disorder. My name is Emily Held, and I'm the clinic supervisor of Root Center for Advanced Recovery's Middletown Clinic. Root Center is proud to join the Road to Recovery Poker Run, as we believe in renewing ourselves to share in our strengths. This event not only rebuilds relationships, but also creates a place for us in recovery to connect with first responders and show who we've always been, but drugs and alcohol have not allowed us to be. While riding alongside one another, we'll be showing our renewed self. Root Center wholeheartedly looks forward to June 6th. Hi, my name is Keith Aber. I'm the first responder community liaison with AWARE. AWARE Recovery Care is committed to supporting people with past to recovery and strengthening the bond first responders have with people seeking help. This is why AWARE collaborates with Journey Home and their supporters. Hi, my name is Susan. I am with Women and Family Center. I'm a sexual assault counselor and advocate, and I'm connected to Road to Recovery because we unite with first responders in addressing people when they first face crises. And um, we are supporting and uh, we appreciate all the work that the recovery programs do um, in making a difference to those who uh, are initially faced with trauma to recovery. Hello, everybody. My name is Clint Zeidenberg. I am the owner of Guilford Athletic Center. I got into CrossFit and opened this gym to help somebody I care about manage their addiction. I know from experience how sober living and fitness go hand in hand. That is why we are all in supporting the Road to Recovery Poker Run to raise funds for Journey Home Recovery Living. We want to help people live a sober life and be part of a strong community. Please join us and ride with us June 6th for the Road to Recovery Poker Run.